A topic that's really quite minor, but of some interest to those who are um, students of iconography, is the subject of wrathful gurus with hats. Now, we've talked about this a little bit under the subject of hats in the past. We've talked about it a little bit with um, just, just with guru yoga. So, but what we have here is we really only have at this time, and I stress very much at this time, we have only four uh, figures that can be regarded as teachers uh, broadly that are uh, generally guru yoga practices or human figures, and uh, they wear a hat. So who are the four? Well, the first and earliest, we have to say, is Dorje Drolo. And Dorje Drolo is one of the eight manifestations of Padmasambhava. So we're treating him as a human figure and Dorje Drolo as a, a kind of a guru yoga meditation manifestation. Now, we have many forms of Dorje Drolo. We, we have at least 14 revealed treasure tradition forms, plus we have other iconographic forms that, uh, that we find in um, narrative uh, presentations of the life story of Padmasambhava. But with the 14 revealed treasure traditions, we have at least two uh, forms of Dorje Drolo, uh, where he is wearing the lotus hat, and he is very wrathful in appearance. Secondly, uh, probably chronologically, is uh, Karmapa. We have the, the second Karmapa, Karmapakshi, and uh, he... He is depicted in, in a guru yoga practice. We primarily have one, but there's probably more uh, uh, textual sources. Uh, but in in the one uh, main practice of uh, Karmapakshi guru yoga, <clears throat> some of the ritual texts portray him as a red, kind of maroon in color, uh, semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful, definitely appearing in a very stern, very wide-eyed, uh, powerful way. And he wears the black hat, the black hat of the Karmapas. Now, the, the third teacher, wrathful teacher with a hat, is actually Wong Dun Yingpo. He's uh, one of the Sakyatridzins. He was a Sakyatridzin in the last half of the 18th century and the father of the two present-day podrangs, of the Droma podrang and Punsok podrang. Uh, but Wang Dun Yingpo himself wrote his own guru yoga uh, practice. Uh, plus, we have... a uh, uh, at least one later text in the in the 20th century again of of uh, uh, Wang Dun Yingpo Guru Yoga, and in that text he's uh, depicted as wrathful, semi wrathful, semi peaceful, or wrathful, and uh, wearing either a lotus style hat with a raven bird on the crown, or he's wearing the um, pandita hat. Uh, similar to Sakya Pandita or, or Tsongkhapa or these types, where, but where the lappets the, the, uh, uh, on the sides of the hat are turned up and over the crown of the hat. So, so Wang Dun Yingpo can appear in two different ways, uh, with two different hats. Now, now the fourth one is uh, a little bit more obscure because we only have one actual uh, painted example of this figure, and it's a form of Padmasambhava called uh, Totreng Tsal, and he uh, is uh, uh, black, dark blue in color, um, very much in a, in a human kind of uh, form, but wearing Heruka attire. Heruka attire means uh, bone ornaments, uh, tiger skin skirt, uh, typical of what you would find with um, Chakrasambara or Hevadra Mahamaya. Uh, figures such as this. But this form of uh, Padmasambhava's Totreng Tsal also wears the uh, the lotus hat uh, of the Nyingma. So these really are the are the four that we're, we're really looking at that we find in um, uh, painting murals and initiation cards. Uh, just touching on wrathful gurus with hats. So you can always press the like button. You can subscribe. You can uh, make comments. Um, definitely follow us. Uh, if you follow us, it actually helps our uh, the algorithms and uh, helps our numbers. And our numbers uh, imp are important because then if our numbers are good, then it, uh, um, it goes out to more, more individuals, more people on the Internet. 
And if you want to help support us, then you can join HAR on Patreon.